In this video, we're gonna talk about our first parenting principle, and here it is. Put God first. If you wanna have a healthy family, then you need to start with the right foundation, which needs to be that your priority and your focus starts with God. Here's the truth. God created us and he created what a family is supposed to be. So we should certainly go to the Bible and find out what did God intend for parents to do? What does God intend for kids to do? How did he design the family to work? And start there because that's the only foundation that matters. When you make God a priority in your family, then you are gonna be impacting every other area of your family life. Because when we have our focus on God and what his desires are and what his plan is, then that's going to affect the way we think about our money, about our time, about the things that we value. So it really is important, if you wanna start with a healthy foundation in your family, then make sure that first principle of putting God first is well established. So here's the question, how do you put God first in your family? Well, it starts with you as parents, that you make God a priority in your own life. Parents, you set the tone in your home. What you value, what you spend your time doing is having an impact on your kids. So if they observe you reading your Bible, spending time praying, that you put value on your own time with God, then that is going to be a part of influencing and setting the tone in the family life then that God should be a priority. Here's the great thing. As you establish spiritual disciplines in your own life, that you value God's word, reading it, that you value spending time in prayer, that you value going to church and learning and being around other Christians that encourage you and challenge you, that's going to have a great impact on who you are as a person and as a parent. You'll find yourself that will be more patient, we're kind. We have more of a focus and a determination towards what our end goals are. The more we are rooted in the foundation of wanting to go God's way and not our own. Parents, if you want God to be first in your family, then it has to be that God is first in your own life. Look what Deuteronomy says. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. So parents, as you make God a priority in your own life, then you need to make God a priority in the family life. And here's what I mean by that. You know, think about the time you spend as a family. I think it's always very interesting to take a time budget, so to speak, or kind of identify where do we spend most of our time as a family? Identify those things and say, okay, where we spend the majority of our time, what we spend most of our time doing says what we value the most. So. If sports is something that you spend the majority of your week doing, then I think it would be safe to say that sports has the biggest priority in your life. So if you're trying to apply this first parenting principle, which is put God first, then you need to look at your family life and the way you structure your time and the things that you talk about and you think about and say, is God anywhere near the top of that list? Is our TV watching and hanging out with friends and maybe sports and hobbies, are those the things that are at the top of the list? Because then that's what's saying then with our time, what we value more. So if you wanna change that tone in your home, parents, then make sure that you're reorganizing the way you spend your time as a family and say, let's put our priorities and spend our time doing the things that are most important first and the other things can fall in line. So for example, as a family, I'm not saying that you have to sit down and pray for three hours as a family every day, but what I am saying is that you choose specific time that you sit down as a family, that you do a family devotional together, that before your kids go to bed at night, that you spend time praying, that you talk about God, that you think about God, that you talk about how you spend your money and how you want to honor God in those areas, that you make God a priority in every aspect of your family life, because that's the only way God's going to become a priority is if you spend time thinking about him and doing the things that he would want you to do. Again, look what it says in Deuteronomy. Here's what God's word says parents should be doing. Repeat them, meaning God's word, to your children again and again. Talk about them when you're at home and when you're on the road, when you're going to bed and when you're getting up. See, what the Bible is asking us to do as parents is that we make God the focus, that he's around all the time, that we're thinking about him all the time, everywhere we go, everything we do that is focused and brought, God is brought into those things. So even if you are a family that's busy with sports and all kinds of activities, that doesn't have to be a bad thing, except that if that's the only thing you spend your time doing and you never bring God into those things of 
Who do we want to be as a representative of God on the soccer field or on the basketball court? Uh, you know, teaching your kids along the way what God values and what he wants from you in all of those different contexts where you spend your time. That's what it would look like to be putting God first in your home. Parents, we have to be intentional. Again, like I said, where we spend our time, what we spend our most time thinking about, those are the things that matter the most to us. So if, if God means something to you and you want God to mean something to your kids, then make sure that you're creating time to spend in his word and in prayer as a family and train your kids and teach your kids that that's an important thing that they should value always in their life. And as parents, that you model that in your own pursuit of God and that you bring it into the family life and make sure that God is always first.